Hello, my dear friend. How do you feel today? That's great. My name is Alexandra Vitalina, and today I will be your English teacher. For our today's English lesson, you will need your English Town students book. You can see it on the screen. Let's start our lesson. Stop the video for three minutes. Look at the pictures and try to guess what the lesson is going to be about. Write down your ideas. Let's check the possible answers. Our lesson can be about traveling to Belarus and other countries, tourism, attractions, reasons for traveling, traveling impressions, and many other ideas. So the topic of our today's lesson, lesson two, is my Belarus. Stop the video for six minutes and answer the following questions. One, what attracts you when you visit new places? Nature, architecture, people, or something else? Two, what in your opinion attracts people to Belarus? Range in order of priority. Here we've got nature, people, culture, food, sport, and others. Three, do you still remember the first impression you had when you visited a new place? Four, what impressions might people have when they come to Belarus for the first time? Listen to the story of an Indian yoga teacher and businessman and answer the following questions. 1. What is his name? 2. Why did he come to Belarus? 3. When did he come to Belarus? Unit 9. Lesson 2. Exercise 2. My name is Bikash Naha. I came to Minsk from the Indian town of Calcutta more than 30 years ago. At the age of 13, I finished school with flying colors, and I was 18 when I got my first degree in chemistry. As a student, I was quite good at chess, and very often I took part in various competitions where I met a lot of nice young people from the USSR. We made friends, and thus I got interested in Russian language and culture. And later I decided to continue my education there. I came to Minsk in the late 1980s. My first impressions of the city were unbelievable. I had never expected to be so bitterly cold, about 30 degrees below zero. Since I wasn't used to such weather, of course very soon I had a bad cold and was running a high temperature. Before coming here, I didn't know much about Belarus. It turned out to be extremely cozy and welcoming. I was impressed by people's friendliness and responsiveness. Despite my poor command of the language at the time, I always felt comfortable here. In fact, the Belarusians and the Indians are very similar. Both nations take pride in their history, deeply respect their parents and their motherland. I believe that a person who worships his parents and his country will achieve inner harmony. I like Belarusian people and enjoy Belarusian nature. My wife is Belarusian and my children were born here. I am still on good terms with men and women I studied with, but we don't meet very often because we're all busy. In the morning, I work at Komarovsky Market, or Komarovka, as they say, where I sell Indian goods, and in the evening, I teach yoga. If necessary, I translate, because I know six languages. English, Russian, Hindi, Bengali, Urdu, and Farsi. All this is not just a business. I take a lot of pleasure in it. Yoga is a great hobby for me. I am proud to have 65-year-old ladies in my yoga club. From time to time, I run workshops in non-conventional medicine. I live in Minsk, and I love it. It is a wonderful and very clean city. I also enjoyed my visits to Grodno, Slonim, Mozir, Mogilov, and Vitebsk. Every summer, I go to Slavyansky Bazaar. 
Belarusian culture appeals to me very much. When I was younger, I used to go to the circus with my kids. My daughters loved the circus. But now we are more into ballet. The ballet here is great. We all love it. I also believe that dance enriches a person's inner world. Belarusian sport impresses me all the time. Although Belarus is a dozen times smaller than India, sport here is developed far and way better. I believe that the Belarusian president does a great job in the sphere of sport. If I had a chance, I would shake his hand and thank him for giving young people such an amazing opportunity. Maxim Mirny and Victoria Azarenka are my favorite sportsmen. If I have time, I always watch sport on TV. I like Belarusian cuisine very much, even though I am a true vegetarian and I eat neither meat nor flesh. That is why Belarusian draniki is my favorite dish. My wife and I often cook national Belarusian and Indian dishes. I feel that Belarus is my second native country. I live and work here. My family are here with me. I'm a Belarusian citizen, and I'm proud to be so. I'm happy that my lucky star has brought me here one day. Let's check the answers. What is his name? His name is Bikosh Nahar. Why did he come to Belarus? He was really interested in the Russian language and culture and decided to continue his education in Minsk. When did he come to Belarus? He came to Belarus more than 30 years ago. Listen to the story again. Then stop the video for five minutes and say whether these statements are true or false. Unit 9, Lesson 2, Exercise 2 My name is Bikash Naha. I came to Minsk from the Indian town of Calcutta more than 30 years ago. At the age of 13, I finished school with flying colors, and I was 18 when I got my first degree in chemistry. As a student, I was quite good at chess, and very often I took part in various competitions where I met a lot of nice young people from the USSR. We made friends, and thus I got interested in Russian language and culture. And later I decided to continue my education there. I came to Minsk in the late 1980s. My first impressions of the city were unbelievable. I had never expected to be so bitterly cold, about 30 degrees below zero. Since I wasn't used to such weather, of course, very soon, I had a bad cold and was running a high temperature. Before coming here, I didn't know much about Belarus. It turned out to be extremely cozy and welcoming. I was impressed by people's friendliness and responsiveness. Despite my poor command of the language at the time, I always felt comfortable here. In fact, the Belarusians and the Indians are very similar. Both nations take pride in their history, deeply respect their parents and their motherland. I believe that a person who worships his parents and his country will achieve inner harmony. I like Belarusian people and enjoy Belarusian nature. My wife is Belarusian, and my children were born here. I am still on good terms with men and women I studied with, but we don't meet very often, because we're all busy. In the morning, I work at Komarovsky Market, or Komarovka, as they say, where I sell Indian goods, and in the evening I teach yoga. If necessary, I translate because I know six languages, English, Russian, Hindi, Bengali, Urdu, and Farsi. All this is not just a business. I take a lot of pleasure in it. Yoga is a great hobby for me. I am proud to have 65-year-old ladies in my yoga club. From time to time, I run workshops in non-conventional medicine. I live in Minsk and I love it. It is a wonderful and very clean city. I also enjoyed my visits to Grodno, Slonim, Mozir, Mogilov, and Vitebsk. Every summer I go to Slavyansky Bazaar. Belarusian culture appeals to me very much. When I was younger, I used to go to the circus with my kids. My daughters loved the circus. But now we are more into ballet. The ballet here is great. We all love it. I also believe that dance enriches a person's inner world. Belarusian sport impresses me all the time. Although Belarus is a dozen times smaller than India, sport here is developed far and way better. I believe that the Belarusian president does a great job in the sphere of sport. If I had a chance, I would shake his hand and thank him for giving young people such an amazing opportunity. 
Maxim Mirny and Victoria Azarenka are my favorite sportsmen. If I have time, I always watch sport on TV. I like Belarusian cuisine very much, even though I am a true vegetarian and I eat neither meat nor flesh. That is why Belarusian draniki is my favorite dish. My wife and I often cook national Belarusian and Indian dishes. I feel that Belarus is my second native country. I live and work here. My family are here with me. I'm a Belarusian citizen, and I am proud to be so. I'm happy that my lucky star has brought me here one day. Let's check the answers. One. Bihash Nahal came to Minsk 26 years ago. That's false. He came to Minsk more than 30 years ago. 2. He finds Belarus very cozy and welcoming. That's absolutely true. 3. Belarusians and Indians are very different. That's false. They are similar. Four, Bihash Naha is married to an Indian woman and has two sons. That's false. He is married to a Belarusian woman and has two daughters. Five, he loves Minsk and other towns of Belarus. That's true. Six, he has never been to Slavyansky Bazaar. That's false. He has been to Slavyansky Bazaar and he goes there every summer. 7. He loves the circus most of all. That's false. He loves the ballet most of all. 8. Bihash Naha is a citizen of Belarus. That's true. Stop the video for 6 minutes. Read the following sentences from the text. Find the words in bold and say what grammar rules we are going to analyze. We are going to analyze plural nouns или множественное число существительных. Stop the video for seven minutes and divide the words into groups according to the rule. Let's check the answers. Существительных, которые оканчиваются на O, Ч, S, double S, Ш, X, добавляется окончание и S. Here we have the word dishes. Если существительное оканчивается на Y с согласным перед ней, то во множественном числе Y меняется на I и добавляется окончание и S. Here we have the word Ladies. Особые формы множественного числа. Here we've got the words children and people. Употребление существительного только во множественном числе. Here we have the word goods. Образование множественного числа при помощи окончания s. Colors, Belarusians. Impressions, competitions, degrees, nations, friends, Indians. Stop the video for six minutes. Think of at least five things you love about Belarus. Write them down. Stop the video for five minutes. Look at the list of things I love about Belarus. Compare your ideas to mine. Complete your list if it is necessary. So I love people in their hospitality. Picturesque nature of our country. Clean streets and environment. A variety of different cultural attractions, historic sites and ancient castles, and of course, delicious national cuisine.
Stop the video for 10 minutes. Write an essay, Why I Love Belarus. Use the ideas discussed before. Stop the video and share your impressions. Did you like our today's lesson? What was easy for you and what was difficult? What did you learn today? Thank you for the lesson. Have a nice day. Goodbye.